ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? It's story time. Sponsored by the council member, Idanique Miller. Nina. Go to sleep, my precious one. The day is done, and the night is near. When you wake up, you'll see the sun. Wish for stars to steer. Go to sleep, my precious one. Day is done, and night is near. When you wake, You'll see the sun, wish you for a star to steer. Dream, my baby dream, until you spread your wings. Hey, my child, my sweet child. You were having a hard time falling asleep tonight, so listen to my story. It starts like stories often do, with a baby wrapped up in a white sheet and her mother smiling at her. This little baby was black. This little baby was me. I don't remember that, of course. My first childhood memory came a little bit later. I must have been about three years old. I thought the piano looked like there were 52 white teeth and 36 black teeth shoved in the keyboard. The black keys were smaller. The black keys take the names of the white keys around them. I asked why. I asked why. Why? That's just the way it is. Yes, that's the way it is. White was important. Black was not. It was that way. Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. For everyone. I could have held it against people or worse. I could have believed I was worth less than other people. Black people were nothing but half notes on a huge ivory keyboard. But no, I did not agree with this. The notes had to mingle and dance together in the air so these lies would disappear. Music has no color. In music, there's only one rhythm, only one heart. Ba-boom, ba-boom. One heartbeat per second, the same rhythm for everyone. Standing on the bus with my eyes closed, I reminded myself of this. went by, 
I play Mozart, Liszt, Beethoven, Chopin, and Debussy. I play all the important men from the past centuries. I was talented. People told me so. When I was young, I was asked to give a special performance. Mom saw the beautiful white dress with pleats and pretty ribbons. God knows she was proud. Her daughter was giving a concert. My mom, my sweet mom, she sat in the front row with her radiant smile. Then white people arrived. She had to get up. I squeezed my eyes tight so I could listen to my dreams dance in the air, but there was nothing. Nothing except silence and injustice. So I refused. Right there in front of black and white people, I didn't care. The only noise was my heart beating, and it was beating for my mother. It was her right to be in the front row. So, Mom sat back down. She wasn't smiling anymore, and my fingers were trembling with anger. But the concert was beautiful. Hey, child, my sweet child. Later, much later. In fact, you were already born. A man arrived on our TV screens on our radios, in our newspapers, and he said, I have a dream. Martin Luther King Jr. had a dream. He believed in it, and people followed him. Martin's dream was my symphony. Black and white people could come together in the big dance of life. Hey child, my sweet child. Sometimes it seems as if that dream came true. But the dream is fragile. You have to take care of it. Dream, my baby dream, until you spread your wings. So listen to my story. <laughs> 